We're learning more about the investigation into a tragic crash at a Harbor RV park on the 4th of July. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC 5 News at 6. I'm Shelley Leggett. Police are figuring out if charges will be filed in the crash that killed a 38-year-old White City woman. NBC 5's Derek Strom is live in studio with the top story tonight at 6. Derek. Shelley, Heidi Bailey was a nurse, mother, and veteran who served our country for eight and a half years. She leaves behind an 11-year-old daughter who friends say was her best friend. She was just such a shining light everywhere she went. Heidi Bailey's friends describe her as a dedicated and talented nurse at the VA in White City, as well as an amazing friend and an overly dedicated mom. Bailey served as an intel analyst in Iraq and Afghanistan for a combined four years. And she was very much very dedicated to her military service. She was very proud of her military service. Friends and family were devastated when they found out Bailey died after being hit by a van in an RV park in Harbor on the 4th of July. Her daughter was playing on the beach just a few feet away when the crash happened. My heart went to my stomach. I was like, I, this can't be like our Heidi Bailey. The investigation into the crash is still in its early stages in Curry County. The 66-year-old Brookings man driving the van that killed Bailey has not been arrested. The sheriff's office says they don't believe the crash was intentional. We don't know what the exact cause or what caused the subject to crash into the vehicle and hit the women. Uh, that's what we're looking into. So we're taking all the steps that we can. We got the district attorney involved. Sheriff John Ward says they're looking into whether the driver had a possible medical issue or if there was a mechanical problem with the vehicle. The driver was taken to the hospital for a potential head injury. The sheriff says it could be a while before we know what caused the crash. It's not something that we can do like CIS, CIS you see on TV, you know, and have it all done in an hour. But investigators won't give up until they do. The sheriff's office still plans on interviewing more witnesses. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help with expenses. You can find a link to that on our website klbi5.com. Live in studio, Derek Strom, NBC5 News.